Welcome to Cooking with Jess. Today we're going to make a tahini lime dressing. You see all of this? It's not a lot of all of this. It's only a few little ingredients and this is going to go by quick. So let's get started. The main ingredient for this bad boy is tahini. Now what is tahini? If you don't know, let me, let me school you. Tahini is ground up sesame seeds. It kind of looks like a thick peanut butter, like a chunky peanut butter. Maybe a little lighter than it, but that's tahini. So we got a fourth of a cup of that. We're gonna add in some fresh, some fresh squeezed lime juice. I'm just gonna try to incorporate this very slowly because the tahini is really thick. And um, the goal is we don't want it to be like super runny, but we definitely want to take it from like a butter consistency to a dressing like a creamy little dressing that if you want to put it like a little squeeze bottle, you can do that. Or if you want to put it in, I'm going to actually put it in a glass container when we're done. But I just want to move it around so that we incorporate it, but we don't want it to be thick, you know? All right, so got that. Now what I noticed with making this particular dressing, it's, it's, it's not a lot of ingredients, right? But because of that tahini, and get ready for this, this is agave and um, grapeseed oil. Now, I am a huge fan of grapeseed oil. I know with this particular recipe, you can use olive oil. I, I think I mentioned this some time ago, but my doctor recommended that if I am going to use olive oil, that she recommends it be in a salad dressing, but not to cook with. And since I don't really like make a lot of dressings, um, I don't really buy olive oil. So if I have it, I have it, but I don't. So that's why we're using grapeseed oil today. But you can use that. You can use um, avocado oil. That's another option as well. And the good thing about those two are that they don't really have like the aftertaste. I know grapeseed oil is a very, very, very faint, um, taste that it has but another reason why i like using grapeseed oil is because it has a high um i think it's called a high smoke point so you can use it to fry you can use it to zinc fry if you'd like you can use it for a lot of different things i love how this consistency is changing now with that agave that's going to give it some sweetness and that is i think is that balance with the sourness of the lime and then the tartness of the Tahini, just, just get ready for it, okay? Now, I'm also going to put in, you know me and Ajo, we got a special thing going on, okay? We're going to crush that. I love a fresh Ajo. Oh, my goodness. I love it. We put in that one garlic clove. You know, I'm going to scrape because that's that's what she does. She, she scrapes. And, I, you know, for me, all of this, I'm, I'm here for it. Okay, I'm not going to put it in a squeeze bottle, so that's not really going to be a big issue that we have like this big chunky thing in there. But uh, I'm going to switch to this to a thinner though. This is a thinner though. This is a cuchara. Cuchara, thinner though. We're going to switch over to the thinner though because I want to try to whisk in these bits of the um, the ajo, and then also I'm gonna put this in little, just a little by little, because I wanna incorporate this in. This is sal, and this is smoked paprika. So are you ready for these flavors? Let me tell you something. This is, this is a nice surprise. Here's the thing about this. I, I we're gonna use it today, like a little topping for a salad dressing, but I like this when I make um, like little wraps sandwiches as a nice little dressing um you could find other little things to do it with you know i've actually in the past i did kind of like a like a nacho kind of mixture here that was pretty good and i put that on top of it but what i really like it on is when i make um when i make pizza and my pizza is a little bit different, right? So I'm not, I'm not, I'm, we're not going to talk about what I don't use. We're going to, we're going to talk about what I didn't use. So I have a, um, I have a recipe. Um, I know that we recorded for a, 
it's like a Mediterranean vibe pizza. And honey, let me tell you, tahini coupled with that, wonderful. I put it, I made a pizza and I like to do this like if I, in the evening, let's say like if I don't have a lot of time, I will make one of those pizzas and then I'll put um, a salad to the side or on the side and have that as, as a dinner and done. Easy, breezy. It has all the veg all the vegetables that I need, so it's gonna be nice and healthy. Now, this is giving me like that too thick. This is not giving me uh, dressing vibes. So what I'm gonna do is, I have a little water here, and I always keep a little water on here because what I'm gonna do is, I just wanna thin it out. And I don't wanna, again, I don't wanna OD on the um, amount of water that I'm gonna put in here because I just, I don't want it to be runny, but this is not give. Who, who's dressing is this? This ain't nobody's dressing. Okay, and automatically I'm already seeing the color is changing. I'm seeing that the texture is changing, but it's it's not, I don't want it. Look, we're gonna dip it in here. We're just gonna do two and we'll see what happens. And we move slowly. Cause I haven't been saying nothing, but I'm seeing our whole splash and water. Like, what are y'all doing? Everybody needs to say this nice little ramekin that we, have set right here. Can you see that? Can you see how it's changing now? Like the color of it? Isn't it amazing? I'm always amazed at how, in particular, uh, I talked about this in that same video I'm talking about with the, the pizza. And if anybody knows, please let me know because I still haven't gotten a response and I don't know why this happens, but I take um, fresh ajo and I put it in that same, that crusher, that garlic crusher that you saw me use. And I put that on top of my pizza and I bake it. And when it comes out the oven, the little um, bits of ajo, they turn green. I don't know why I, but it, it I want to say it almost always happens. So I wonder if that's like some tell tell sign of like the freshness of the ajo. I'm just thinking about it now. Or if it has something to do with like the tight, because I today actually I um I bought some ajo and it had like purple skin, like the the little like that papery kind of skin on it was purple. And normally the ajo that I buy is white. So I'm just wondering if like that has something to do with it. You see that? You see how it's changed? See that texture? And the color? You're not going to probably see the texture, but that color is like a separating now. Very interesting. So if you know anything about this whole Ajo situation and why it turns uh, green when it's in the oven, let me know. I'm quite interested. Not interested enough that I've looked it up, but whenever I make it, I'm always like, wow, I wonder why... Why it does that? There we go. Now you see, look at look how that's transformed. And you know what's interesting? When we put in the lime juice, right? It didn't do that. The water does it. Again, another interesting. Is this science? Is is it what's happening here? Are we doing science class too? Man, I would love to know why it does that. All right, so I'm gonna. I don't want to get too hasty now and go all super fast with the stirring because. I don't want to lose this. I'm loving this color. Do you see how it's like this kind of like orangey color? It's picking up from the the smoked uh, paprika. Oh my goodness. I'm, I'm ready for this. I know this is going to be a nice little, little salsa over here. I'm ready for it. Okay. So I think we're almost there. There we go. That works for me. Hello, do you not see this transformation? We were all peanut buttery and now we are all dressing. And look at this, this looks so pretty. And we made it ourselves, hello. Stop, what, what, for who, why? You can do it yourself. And then you can keep this in the refrigerator like I would do. Uh, I would say absolutely Mac, four days. Keep it at the coldest point in your refrigerator. So don't make too much, unless you eat a lot. But um, I know the lime is gonna, it's gonna preserve the um, the dressing, but because we've added different things to break down the tahini, um, 
we don't want it to to turn on you but look at that I'm excited I am okay so I'm ready to taste this let's go ahead and let's shift over let's get this little ensalada aquí that's a little spring mix nothing too fancy I threw some walnuts on there and we want to to a little taste test. I'm gonna try to drizzle this on here so it looks amazing. Please, no judgment if it doesn't drizzle look amazing. But the whole goal is, you and and I'm not a person that's big on dressing. Like I didn't realize this until I think I'm. This was some years ago. I was reading about like as I continue to evolve and learn about eating more healthy. Something that I, I realize, and I, I, I'm, I'm guilty of this as well. Whenever eating salads, like we tend to put, I'm not gonna say we, cause that's not everybody. I used to, and I know that there are others in my circle that drown their salads in dressing. And I think that's because the notion of like eating this is it's supposed to taste bad or it tastes bad so you gotta like kill it with all this dressing but that's where the fat that's where a lot of the salt and sugar especially the salt is in these dressings so be mindful and if you can make it yourself make it yourself you know what goes in it because you made it right so what i used to do and i I do this now. I'm trying to get it to look sexy. This is for, you know, just for the, for the look of it. But whenever I add a dressing, and this is for even like syrup. I don't really use syrup, but I use agave on like to sweeten like a pancake or French toast or something like that. I always put it on the side and I dip my fork in it. And then I go ahead and I dip whatever, you know, the, the thing is that I'm eating. And that's to control how much salsa or dressing or, or sauce that you're going to put. You're going to taste it because it's on the fork, but you're not getting like all this extra. And let me let me just share this little tidbit with you as well. I was amazed at how little I use. Now, I'm going to tell you this. Uh, let's take, for example, this. I'm trying to think of something that's like universal. So you go to, let's say you get a packet of, of ketchup, right? And you open it up and you squeeze it on your fries. You're probably gonna empty that, right? So now you wanna make sure every fry is covered. Again, I think this is that same, that same notion of you wanna try to like bury something in this sauce. Now, if you were to take the fork and, and go with that method that I was just describing and dip it into the, the tenedor, then the food, again, you just have the, the dressing on the, um, the tenedor and you eat it. Try that and see how much you will actually use out of that whole packet. I've experienced this in many different things that I do. Even when I get like those little tiny little black ramekins, like at IHOP or one of these places that you go to for breakfast. And I do that dip thing, amazed, okay? I am always amazed at how little I use. I'm accustomed to it now, but try it. I challenge you to do that. Try it and then let me know what you think. All right, that's enough. But I just wanted to share that because that's a big thing with me, like trying to get people to like enjoy what the vegetable is supposed to taste like, enjoy what the food is supposed to taste like and not jump to like, let me, let me, oh, I need salt. You ain't even taste it yet. How you know I need salt? Oh, I need all this dressing on it. Like, how do you know that? How about you try something different? Cause we're trying to get healthier. We're trying to eat healthier. We're trying to be a better version of us, right? Okay, right. This agave. Okay, make this the agave with that sweet, that sweet balance with that sour, with that like tartness of the tea in you. This is what you need in your life. You want to get spicy? Add a, a little bit of cayenne. Add a little bit of um chili powder. That smoked paprika. Listen, listen, listen. I ain't even gonna say no more. Try it. And hey, listen, take it to a potluck. Eat it at, take it to work, have somebody try it. They'll be like, you made, where you get this dressing from? You made it? I did, as humbly as you can say. I did. It's really good. I think you'll enjoy it. All right, thank you. And until next time, take care of yourself, okay? Bye. All right, 
I'm excited about this.